Okay, so the project I'm going to talk about is the discovery of the first uh, black hole in a binary system with a companion star, where we discovered the system when it was a, a faint radio source instead of discovering it as a bright X-ray source. And what this means is that uh, the black hole was uh, taking in material from its companion star at a very low rate rather than at a very high rate like all the other black holes that we've uh, discovered up to this point. If we put the black hole close enough to the star, what we can have is a, a case where the, right at this position on the star, the gravitational attraction to the center of this star and to the black hole are equal. And when that happens, material will spill off of the, the, the normal star and start falling in towards the black hole. And as the gas in, in this flow starts to rub up against itself, it ends up having some form of friction, which causes the material to fall in instead of just orbiting. And as it falls in, it's dropping through a very large gravitational potential well, kind of the same way that if you drop a, a ball from, say, an airplane, it'll moving really fast as it hits the surface of the Earth, whereas if you just drop it from, say, this height, it won't move very fast when it hits the surface. Right? And so you release a lot of energy when you drop something through a deep gravitational potential well. And when you do that, the material gets very hot. Right? That gravitational energy gets converted into uh, thermal energy, and the stuff gets hot. And when this gas gets hot enough, it can give off x-rays. And so the way that we've traditionally discovered black holes in the past is by looking for very bright sources of x-rays in the sky. Right? And that's what we get when the black hole is eating material at a very high rate. Okay? When you turn down the, the rate at which the uh, black hole is taking in material, um, the x-ray emission starts to become fainter and fainter. Now it turns out that at the same time this black hole is taking in material, um, a small amount of the material ends up getting expelled. Right? And this material gets expelled in what we call a jet. Right? And this jet can give off radio emission. And uh, one of the things that we've discovered over you know, the past several decades of looking at these kinds of objects is that uh, the radio emission from the jet gets fainter more slowly than the X-ray emission gets fainter. Right? And so what that means is that if you're looking for objects that are relatively nearby so that they're easy to detect, um, but accreting at a very low rate, uh, they tend to be better to find in the radio than in the x-rays. And this is an idea that I put forward about uh, 11 years ago. Um, and just this past year, uh, a group of uh, scientists that I was a part of, uh, led by a group in uh, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, uh, found the first example of, of this object, this kind of object. Uh, so I had suggested that if we wanted to find these low accretion rate black holes, we want to look in the radio rather than in the x-rays. Um, but this was the first time that somebody was actually able to do that.